What's up you guys, my name is Maverick, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about which college major you should choose to study. This video is geared mainly towards freshmen and sophomores who are looking to either choose a major or uh, switch their major into something that they desire more. When you ask the question, which major should I study? There's usually people on both sides of the aisle. One saying, go and study something that you love. And on the other side saying, go and study something that's going to make you money. And I want to shed a little bit of light on that and kind of help the decision making process if you're in this predicament. If you're going into higher education, you are most likely looking at achieving two goals. One of those goals being to graduate a four year university with as little amount of debt as you possibly can. And goal number two, to elevate your lifestyle and give yourself uh, more success coming into the future. If you really pay attention to these two goals, you have a great chance at building a pretty good life for yourself. I'm gonna give you five steps in order for you to choose the right major for yourself according to your own desires, your life goals, and your passions. At the end of this video, I'm also gonna give you my recommendation on what I see as the best major regardless of what job you end up going into. The first piece of advice and the first step that I would encourage you to do is determine how much money that you are going to accumulate in debt over the four years that you're going to be in college. This means calculating the entire amount and then also doing research on how much monthly payments would be either while you're in college or after you graduate. The reason for this is that you don't want to have a million dollar taste on a hundred dollar budget. Also, you don't want to get into a job that you really like, but then you later you find out that it doesn't pay your bills and it doesn't pay your debts. This is going to end up leaving you discouraged, unfulfilled, and always wanting more. By hashing this out as soon as possible while you're a freshman or sophomore, you prevent yourself from getting into those situations and being mentally prepared for the job that you need to take after graduation. This also helps budgeting and planning out the next few years after graduation, which are some of the most important years of your life for building a lifestyle that you want to have in the next decade. The second thing and the second step that you're gonna wanna figure out for yourself is what lifestyle are you aiming for? And this is gonna have to do a lot with the type of goals that you have set for yourself. In your mind, you really have to decide what sort of lifestyle and goals you have set for yourself in the future. So if having a mansion, Lambos, and going on exotic vacations is something that you really want to do and really desire for yourself in the future, then that's something to take into consideration when choosing a career and a major while you're in college. If you're aiming to be in the middle class, drive a nice car, own a nice house, and just live life to its fullest, then that's something that you have to take into consideration. If you wanna shoot for just getting by and having a car that's just gonna get you from point A to point B, and you're fine with just living life as long as you're happy with your profession, then that's something you have to take into consideration. If you're someone who just is fine with living paycheck to paycheck and living life to its fullest, uh, possibly someone like a missionary or someone who loves serving, then that's something that you have to take into consideration. Figuring out what kind of lifestyle you want to live after your four years of graduation is really going to give you a good idea of how you should plan out your college years and the years after for the greatest formation that you're going to experience in probably your life. The next thing that I would suggest doing is going through all of your passions that you have, all of your hobbies, and matching them up with the second uh, two lowest categories when it comes to pay and lifestyle and really ask yourself seriously would I be happy doing these hobbies and passions like arts or video games for being a, a twitch streamer or being in theater would you be happy with doing those things if it meant that you weren't going to get all of the fancy stuff that all of your friends may have and I would really ask yourself these questions seriously to prevent a possible buyer's remorse later down the road uh, when you see all of your friends living a more expensive lifestyle than you and desiring that for yourself. There's no problem in switching your mindset, switching your goals, and wanting to shoot for something new. But just for the sake of money and 
keeping yourself from more debt. Really think about these questions when you're in college and you have the time to do so because it's gonna save you more trouble down the road. The next thing to consider, especially if you haven't gone to college yet, is really think to yourself, what are my options if I decide not to go to college? Some people hearing this advice are just gonna sit back in their chair like, oh my gosh, like I can't believe he just said that. But a lot of things, especially nowadays, that people are deciding to do, they aren't even needing their college majors. And so they spend hundreds of thousands of dollars putting themselves in debt that they're gonna have to pay off for the next 25 years of their life to do something that they don't even need their college degree to do anyway. And so that's an option that you should really think about to see, hey, do I need a college degree to fulfill my dreams and to fulfill my goals? After you've gone over the possibility of not going to college, you've looked at your passions and you've really studied the lifestyle that you desire, the next thing I want you to think about is employers. Put yourself in the employer's shoes and think about hiring people straight out of college. What kind of experiences would you like these college kids to have before you hire them? And once you figure that out, you're able to kind of structure your college experience around that. If the job that you desire doesn't require an employer, then really think about to yourself what you think would help you the greatest when moving forward uh, in your own career. What information you think would help you the most in progressing yourself and really getting the most out of your education in college. In order to get the most out of your money and the college experience, really take these five steps and ponder them so that you can get the most out of your job and your lifestyle that you want and deserve. So if you're asking me on my recommendations for the best college major, then I suggest going into communications. The reason that I view this as such a great major for somebody who doesn't really know what job they wanna go into or has an idea of a job that they wanna do but doesn't know what to study is because you communicate on a daily basis. Improving those communication skills can only benefit your life. It's gonna help you with articulation. It's gonna help you with your confidence level of standing up in front of a crowd and, and giving a speech or presenting your ideas. It's a life skill that's always needed and it's gonna allow you to get out of a niche and really choose any profession to go after. It, you can be trained to do virtually anything with a communications major. Now, if you're wondering if I'm biased, I'm an economics and business major and I did not have a minor and so I did not study communications. However, I think it is a very good major to go after and to really strive for because it can be used in almost anything and it is way better than staying uh, undeclared for two to three years. Plus, if you really wanna go after a passion of yours, being a communications major is going to help you in the business aspect of making money off of your passion. Overall, I think it's a great major to choose and if uh, you're stuck on choosing a major, I think that communications is a great route to go and you can't go wrong. Spending the amount of money that you're gonna be doing in college, you really do have a big decision over your head and I wish you the best of luck. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Hey, I may even make a video on them. If you like my content, please subscribe, like this video, and if any other friends of yours are struggling with this, go ahead and share that this video with them and hopefully it would help them as well. Thanks a lot guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.